Uh, I can't really. I don't want to risk a fire, like a, a flu fire, if you will. Um, I'm surprised it didn't catch on fire already, or it had, and I didn't notice it. What's going on everybody? How you doing today? Uh, we're just out for another overnighter at the cabin. Um, had a wonderful walk down. It was uh, really slippery because of the ice, but it was still a nice walk. Uh, the sun's not out unfortunately. It seems like every overnighter I'm going to do is going to be in the dark by the looks of it. It was supposed to be a sunny day and the weatherman fail as usual. Uh, we haven't had any real big snowstorms this year. We haven't had any amount of snow consistently at all, so everything's kind of like been up and down. The temperature's been going anywhere from plus eight to 10 to minus 14 to minus 20. It's been just ridiculous in the weather, so. So I was really hoping to have a, you know, a nice day out. I brought sunglasses thinking it was the sun was coming out. Nope, didn't happen, so. Oh well, uh, but yeah, it was a great walk down. Lots of ice. Uh, there's a few patches that were kind of crazy. I didn't expect at all. My camp is completely iced out. My, my uh, door to my cabin is almost filled up on ice. So I'm pretty sure I can open the door. We're gonna find out here shortly. It made the sled pull a lot easier because the ice just it slipped right along and it didn't kind of fly away on me. But I still had some problems with, uh, with the sled overall. I wasn't very happy with it. It's still like a work in progress. It just seems to get little malfunctions and I'd done some work on it recently to uh, improve its stability as I'm walking particularly downhill and, and in the sense of how it tugs and pulls based on your speed. Um, so I thought that was an improvement but the reality is is that the, it's still not working. One of the, the not D-links, the um, carabiners are clipping off and and what's happening, as far as I can tell, is that when the pole pushes back, it's putting the carabiner in a position to unlock itself and then slip off. So, kind of awkward and kind of annoying, especially when you're going down icy slopes, but that's okay. Yeah, and that's pretty much where we're at. So, uh, yeah, sit down, relax. This is just going to be a chill evening like the last video. We're not uh, doing anything special. I'll apologize in advance for the low light because I know it's going to be an issue through this entire video now. The sun just literally just went away completely since I came out. So, hey, what do you do? So, I do, I'll do the best I can with the video, but uh, I'm here to enjoy myself. If you guys want to come along for the ride, that's perfectly fine too. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, you can see the adjustments I made where I've uh, uh, put a new loop through it and tightened that up. It is better. But unfortunately, this tab is, is still releasing. So I'm gonna have to go get like lockable D-links or something like that, I think, instead to, uh, to correct that issue. I need them to come off though. I don't want them to be permanently on there. So definitely have to, uh, to, to get something better for that. And uh, up here, you can see that uh, these loops here, I sunk into the pole a little bit and then tied it off up here. Uh, the idea being is that it would be less tug and pull as you're walking along. So it's been a little bit of an issue, but uh, it performed 100% better just because of this. And I know I can get this better. This was just a fix for this video, and uh, I think I'm going to work on this whole system. But at the end of the day, it hasn't been snowing at all, so it doesn't matter. Like, uh, the winter's going to be done in a month or two, so... I may not have to. May, I may not even be able to use this, so we'll we'll see. Um, but I, I always want to improve my system. So, so as you can see, the uh, camp's all 
frozen up really, really well now. Uh, just a sheer plate of ice. Um, it's unfortunate. Again, it's the same issue as the cabin. Um, there's almost nothing I can do about it. Like, I cannot dig a trench deep enough and throw enough rocks in it to subvert this amount of water. But, eh, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. So, yeah, just as I expected, it's frozen and shut. So, that creates a little bit of a dilemma because I can't get in the cabin. But, I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet, take my axe, and uh, chop it open because I need to get in. Otherwise, there's no video so and no chill time. So, yeah, I'll have to sharpen my axe later, I guess. It's really... Yeah, I brought sharpening stones and stuff, so I should be okay. Uh, but, man, I don't want to do this. I don't at all. I don't like using my axe to chop into the ground or ice or anything like that. Yeah, it is what it is. Fortunately, the ice isn't very hard. It's pretty warm out. It's supposed to get up to plus two and then minus four tonight. So the ice is actually kind of slow, slowly softening up a little bit. So it'll be okay, but I'll have to sharpen the old axe when I'm done. Oh, and another thing. I have no worries about what I'm going to hit underneath. It's a wood porch, so I'm not going to hit any rocks. So I don't have to worry too much about, you know, swinging too hard. Well, that was definitely interesting. So, I got it all chopped out. It's, it's a bit of a mess. So, one of the known issues to the cabin, which I haven't really mentioned much so far, uh, is that it obviously leaks water. So, the area that I did it in is a bit of a slope. And I really didn't think much of it at the time, because um, I had full intentions of putting in a floor. Um, I didn't get around to it. I got about halfway there. And so what's happened is the snow is built up. It's been like crazy weather, like warm, cold, warm, cold. So it's melting, freezing rain and all that. And it's kind of seeping through to the bottom. Now I'm not overly concerned about that because I do have plans to put in a semi-proper floor next spring, maybe summer. But the reality is, is that right now there's not much I can do about it. It's like frozen water in there, but I've got uh, boards and stuff to stand on and I've got things to kneel on so I'll be okay But yeah, that was kind of a surprise it's pretty funny Funny little challenges you get into I'm just glad it didn't ruin the door and it didn't uh, Prevent me from getting in because this would have been an <laughs> awfully short video. So all right guys I'm gonna go get my stuff in there start getting things underway get the fire going and uh, Then we'll go from there
Okay, so everything's uh, going well. Fire's going finally. Got smoked out once or twice, but that's the way it goes. Uh, yeah, I got some water on, so I'm going to have some coffee. So as I said earlier, I mean, as the light fades, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So uh, it, it is what it is. I don't have the money to, uh, to afford a better camera that does better in low light. And not a lot of cameras do really well that are inexpensive. Um, the GoPro doesn't do very well in low light. Um, I have, again, I have a bunch of extra lights and candles that I'm going to try out, see if I can kind of get to a point that it's livable, but I don't have the highest of hopes for that. I'm using these cabin overnights as, as a bit of an update series, more of a chit-chat and hang out. So, again, if you don't like videos where I'm talking a bit more, then, then, uh, then don't watch this, <laughs> pretty much. Um, whereas most of my other videos, I'm trying to keep the talking to a minimum. So we'll get into that a bit later. Okay, so that's my sleeping set up there. Um, underneath, there's a cheap yoga mat to separate the thermarest from the wood, so I don't accidentally poke a hole in it. Um, that is a minus 40 Hillary sleeping bag. I got it for like 25 bucks. Some guy was selling it, and uh, uh, practically brand new. He never used it. Uh, I haven't really got a chance to try it in super low temperatures, but uh, I've had it down to minus 10 or so, so and it was warm, so that's a start. And then there's the Sea to Summit pillow. Um, I take that out backpacking with me, or pretty much everywhere as I go. It's only like two ounces, and uh, you can just pack that into a little tiny ditty bag, and off you go. So it's a pretty sweet setup. Uh, it's very comfortable, and in here, obviously, very warm. So I'll be cozy all night. the winter but just run out of time every single time ah. oh, so I'm getting lots of firewood which is great uh, I might not need it all but uh, it'll do the trick for now a little bit of kindling for later Usually I have to stoke the fire two or three times over the night because it's a small stove and uh, it uh, burns out pretty quick. There, all done. Okay, so as I said earlier, um, I don't like hitting my axes into uh, into ice or rocks or anything like that, of course, or, or earth particularly, because you could hit rocks. And I've got a couple nicks in this guy just by accident. Um, so what I'm going to do real quickly, and I'll just show you what I do to uh, hone this in just a little bit so it stays relatively sharp while I'm out. So I have this little ditty bag basically I made up with leather. Uh, I have some leather works. I have a little video you can probably watch if you like. Uh, learned this just on the internet, pretty straightforward. In this particular bag, I bring two stones with me. I bring a fine stone, and then I have a more coarse stone. So if I need to chip away a little bit more material, uh, that'll allow me to do that. I learned this off of uh, Mike from MCQ Bushcraft. Uh, I don't do it as well as him, of course, but uh, I do... Uh, think it works well if you take your time. 
So what Mike does is if you have the ability to have a little bit of a marker, uh, he just puts a mark down the edge of where he wants to sharpen. My axe is a little wet from earlier, so it's not going to be very good. And what that does is gives you a guideline for what you're shooting for. Yeah, it's not drying as well as it should. We got our mark on it right there, as you see. And all you want to do, and I'll try and get this so you can see it. All you want to do is position the rock at the angle at which you want it honed. Uh, and then as you're rotating it, either backwards or forwards, doesn't matter which way, you'll see the bit of the marker disappear. And that means you're removing material. The only thing to remember, if you guys are doing it this way, and he points this out as well, just be very careful the tips of your fingers and make sure you go slowly and carefully because you don't want to snip your finger off. And I've almost done that a couple times. So. so I'll just give you a real quick look and then we'll go from, go from there. Okay, so you may not be able to see this, but you can see all the material right there uh, in the marker starting to go away. And that means I'm probably at the right angle that I want to sharpen it. And you just go in little circles. You don't have to go too crazy. You're just trying to get an edge on it. It's all you're trying to do. And then you just reverse it the other way. You just be careful if you're sitting down or not. Find your angle and then take your time. Anyways, guys, that's, that's the gist of it right there. I'm going to keep honing this guy down a little bit more until I'm happy with him. And then uh, we're going to put him away until we need him later on tonight. All right. Okay, everything's going pretty well now. Uh, fire's going really well. Uh, it's about 10 degrees in here and only getting warmer. It just takes so long for the place to heat up. I mean, that's just the way it is. I think in the future I should come in a little earlier and get it going early in the day so by the end of the day it's nice and warm. So, And I think anybody that owns any type of log cabin would definitely have the same issue. And let's see. I uh, got lots of candles going. I made these little oil candles for later. These burn for about eight hours. You can get a bottle of oil for eight bucks at Walmart or whatever, and that'll make about four of these. So you get about eight eight hours out of a candle. So it's whatever you want it to be. Uh, and I have some wicks there as well. Uh, I have a bunch of emergency candles I put up uh, that seem to produce a fair bit of light, um, but it is going to get more and more dark as we go along. And I broke apart like an LED just to get some ambient light in here as well. So I'm getting hungry, guys. I have water on the boil, so I was going to have sausage, but I'm thinking I might... Uh, one of two things. I'm either going to have stew or I'm going to have stew with sausage. And I think I might do the stew with sausage and then save one other sausage for later if I'm hungry or tomorrow morning with my eggs whatever works. There's no game plan on this one and I'm just here to, to enjoy the time. So I'm going to start getting that whipped up right now actually. Ah, man down! Man down! Little bastards like to roll away on you. I'm going to leave the peppers quite big because they're just going to blend in its flavor more than anything. They're not going to really of any substance. Yep, defrost it. Perfect. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Tell me where that's from. What movie is that from? Some of you guys must have seen it. I watched it as a kid. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Leave the answer in the comments. I'm going to cut it fairly thin. I should have brought my paring knife. Because um, I want it to cook very easily. I don't want to have to struggle with this at all. This would have been better if I brought my paring knife. But the old Mora companion will do, I'm sure. Trusty. I used to have the heavy duty and I gave that away to a buddy of mine. Uh, mainly because I hated it for its carbon uh, 
It's not stainless steel. It's a carbon compound, and uh, I just problem with me is I would always forget to put oil on it or take care of it, so it became a real hassle. So I got rid of it and went back to the old companion knife. It's way more. I I I feel like it's it's better. I can't do quite as much with it. Like I can't baton quite as well, um, but the, as a heavy duty, but. This guy does the trick, though. Let's throw these in, I guess, and have, her, have ourselves a stew. Oh, that's good. Mmm, that's really good. Ooh. I'm gonna call her done. Yep. This looks good. Oh, that's good. That's killer. Absolutely killer. All right, good morning. Uh, it was a great night last night. Uh, the fire kept the place nice and warm. I think it was like 10 degrees when I woke up this morning. Um, but it did stoke it twice. So, you know, so the last time I think it was four hours before it, uh, before I got up. So that means that it, it did pretty well. Um, other than that, I've been having some issues with the uh, chimney. Uh, my biggest issue is that... Uh, I'm using a lot of uh, resinous softwood, so it's le leaving a lot of residue. So it's something I'm going to have to deal with. I'm going to have to try and find a cleaner burning source, or I'm going to have to change the the, the actual pipes um, on occasion. It seems like it's going to be an issue because it's kind of building up with gunk. So something I'm going to have to deal with. Other than that, it's a beautiful morning. It's nice and sunny out. That's probably only like minus one, minus two. Uh, I'm going to get a coffee going. I'm going to probably have an oatmeal or maybe the extra sausage I, I had or maybe some eggs. I'm not really sure, but yeah, so I'm getting pretty hungry, so we'll get that on the go. Then I'm going to pack up and head home, probably get some nice shots on the way. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, got my coffee in hand. Things are good. Pretty sweet morning. Sun's out nice and bright. There was a bit of a mist outside that was pretty cool. Um, I tried to catch it on the GoPro. Um, I don't know if it came through or not, but yeah, it's pretty good. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spare you the experience of me eating a sausage and finishing my coffee and packing up and what I might do is I'll just see if I can get some nice shots on the way out pretty nice morning so as soon as I get breakfast done I'm want to get going so I better start packing because I got a lot of stuff to pack up so we'll do that first and get going okay so I found out what was wrong with the chimney which was expected is that the resin had built up so much inside of it that it was starting to clog it and there was a couple choke points. A, I'm going to have to replace it eventually. B, I got it cleaned out so it'll burn better for the next while. I uh, just don't want to have too hot of a fire. And then C, next year I'm going to need cleaner wood for next year because uh, uh, I can't really, I don't want to risk a fire, like a, a flu fire if you will. Um, I'm surprised it didn't catch on fire already, or it had, and I didn't notice it. Um, so it's kind of scary. So the reality is, is that, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take more precautions and probably replace the pipe at some point in time. But for now, we're okay. We're good. <laughs> Problem solved. A little bit of a chore more than anything. But that's what cabin life is. Just you're constantly working on something. It's kind of like owning a home. So. 
Anyways, I'll let you guys go. I gotta go continue finally packing up and finish my breakfast and my coffee. So, talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to comment as well because I always like to hear back from you guys. It's always nice to hear the feedback. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, it was a longer video. It was a lot more talking than I'm used to. Uh, you know, I apologize for that, but that's just the style of this video. It's not like my shorter ones. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm trying to hit that thousand subscriber mark. Uh, you know, I think a lot of us are. Uh, I think the views are already kind of in line. It's just that kind of goal. So I figure by the end of the year, that's a, that's a reasonable goal to have. And uh, don't forget to put the bell on as well, because that'll give you notifications on new videos when they come out, because I usually put them out once every week or two weeks. And uh, other than that, guys, enjoy your own adventures, and uh, have a great day, and take care.